50年前ぐらいに学校の授業中に万年筆のキャップを転がして遊んでた人たちがね大勢いたらしいんですそれを見た佐藤敏夫さんというクラフト作家がおもちゃに作り変えたんですねそのおもちゃに僕は出会ってアレンジを加えて現在のモクルという姿になりました自分で遊び方をどんどんどんどん無限に開発できるっていうところがいいところだと思ってますやればやるだけ上手になるこれはまさにスポーツなんではないかこれはデスクトップスポーツだとそういうふうに思い命名しましたまず初心者の方は左右に1回転がして押さえるということができたらいいと思います次にですね前後左右の動きあるいは2回転転がして押さえるあるいは速く転がすそのようなことになりますここから先はですね技を繰り出せるようになると思うんですが2本を使ったりですね両手でやったりあるいは自分で考えた持ち上げる技であったりとかそういうことが楽しめると思います2人でキャッチボールみたいに行き来させたりとか転がし続けて先にダメになった方が負けというゲーム性を持たさせたりとかそういうような楽しみ方ができますムクルは自分で遊びを考える喜びその技を練習してできた時の喜びさらにそれを世界中のみんなとシェアする喜びそんな楽しさがたくさん詰まってるいいおもちゃですぜひ皆さんモクルで楽しんでください
Fidgeting is the body's natural mechanism to help us stay focused, present, and in the moment. So the reason we created these fidgeting features embedded inside of the pen is that so people could fidget more discreetly. You know, there's a lot of other fidget toys out there, but the problem is they're too large and they're too distracting to others. That's why we believe that fidgeting is for anyone who wants to stay focused, relaxed, and have fun in the process. Also, research has shown that people with ADD, ADHD, and autism can greatly benefit from fidgeting. We believe that habits such as nail biting, leg shaking, and finger tapping can be channeled into the Fidgy Pen to help people stay cool, calm, and collected. Thank you for supporting us. Share this campaign on social media and we'll give you two free ink refills. Welcome to the Fidgy family. Spidget. Why Spidget? Spidget is the combination of a fidget toy, spheres. Spheres uh, were used to create the outer mass to give the toy its, its total mass. One of the things that I fell in love with after I held it for the first time is um, the way the light plays across the spinning spheres. It just makes almost like an infinite amount of concentric and intersecting circles of light. It's, it's almost magical. When I was designing this, I wanted it to be as curvy as possible. So when I set out to design something that not only did I want it to be functional, but I wanted it to be beautiful. This fidget is kind of hard to explain. Um, you can see it on the screen, you can see it in the drawings. I saw it as I was designing it. And it didn't really become real to me until I actually held it. So when I first created Spidget, uh, I didn't know what it was gonna be like to hold it. And I can't describe the very first time when you're rushing to put something together and you finally spin it for the first time, it was really amazing. That gives me hope that this is going to be a, a pretty unique product for, for people like me that, that, that appreciate uh, 